Scan Mass if you need uh, any information, and especially that uh, link that is just here. And and there you go. So next up, we have Yaro Rodriguez. Uh, I hope I pronounced your name correctly. You did, yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah. Okay, you updated. Uh, not too good. Okay, <laughs> you updated your presentation, so I make you a presenter, uh, so you can okay. stop sharing your screen. Uh, and Yaro, uh, I'm trying right, is from Costa Rica, <laughs> and is going to present Arenal, this single board, pumps and OBC module. So uh, the stage is yours, and uh, you have four minutes, like everybody. Okay. And there you go. Uh, well, hi everyone. Thank you for having us here today. We'll keep this as short as possible. Uh, so we drew the inspiration for the idea. We are going to talk about Gravit from like three different places. First, yeah, no, excuse me. Could you speak louder? Oh, sorry. Uh, Close okay, up to the microphone. Sorry, I don't know where it is. Yeah. <laughs> Can you hear me better now? A little bit. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder what's happening. Okay. Good for me. Okay, Good so um, again. Sorry, we drew inspiration for the idea. We're going to talk about it a bit from three different places. First, our involvement in the Irasu project, which was uh, Costa Rica's first satellite. It was a very simple, very basic one year chipset startup forward mission. Then, uh, my work on setting up repositories and reviewing the documentation for uh, BIRDS Bus, the, the, the Chitic Institute of Technology, BIRDS 3 and 4 bus used for their satellites. And also, uh, we really like the excellent work done by the people at Vision Space Technologies on their BST 104 boards, uh, which actually uses STM32, which is important later. So after seeing all of this, uh, we thought that it would be a good idea to develop a single board OBC and comes combo, basically, uh, using this microcontroller, the STM32 WL SOC. Uh, this module has an SX12 series uh, LoRa module embedded to the MCU on a silicon level. So it is it is a very efficient interface and simplifies a lot the, the hardware design, the PCB design. Um, so it is true that it is a very low bandwidth protocol. So we are looking to use it mainly for the like, beacons or commands or very small payloads, uh, hoping that it's going to be a uh, there is going to be a secondary com system for uh, like imaging or, or their bigger payloads. The main benefit we see from this board is the reduced burn taking by having the two subsystems, the OBC and the comms boards being merged into a single PCB instead of dividing being divided in two, which in an one year keeps that like ESO can be a very big deal. So uh, the Bridge bus, the Bridge satellite, uh, actually has the two systems divided in two different PCBs. However, this is not always the case. In Irasu, actually, it was a single board um, system like we want to do. However, this is uh, this was manufactured by Gonspace, and the main drawback is that it is not open source, which we want. <laughs> um, so, and we really like the work done by the people at this uh, yeah, Vision Space Technologies, uh, but we really like the idea of having a com system or basic com systems embedded into the the OBC. So. That's what we want to do. Uh, we actually got in contact with BST and they gave us some very good development like advice. Uh, but yeah, we want to imp improve or modify their design and take advantage of all the PCB area available. And then finally, my uh, the software. My partner, Oldman, is the one in charge of developing this and has been working for a while on his project, which is called SFSF. Uh, more information on that hopefully next year, next edition of this Congress. Um, but in short, it's a flight software framework uh, with easy to use functions for telemetry, commands, scheduling or flight planning, and packet forwarding to different systems in the satellite. What this software is made to be cross platform, uh, having a target hardware makes, makes it possible to have interesting applications out of the box. Uh, which could leverage on functions like the second core and the MCU, and in general makes us more confident that we can launch a piece of hardware, not just a piece, a piece of hardware, but an actually working, easily implementable satellite module. So, we are here uh, looking for feedback for this idea. While we really like it, we want to know if it's something you guys will find useful. Uh, the current plan is for an early stage or mock-up to be done for my undergrad 
undergrad graduation project, uh, and the bulk of the development be done during a master's. So if this this being a viable and an interesting project is very important. <laughs> uh, so please send us your thoughts and opinions on the email on the screen, or you can scan that QR code uh, to do it directly, or just speak to me in the chat or something. Uh, but yeah, I really want to know what you guys think and if it's something that would be useful to someone. Amazing, Jaro. Amazing. Thank you very much. So open source hardware, then there is soon a release. So <laughs> please, everybody, turn on your microphone and give us the yes for Jairo from Costa Rica. <laughs> you have three, two, one. Yes! 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 Well, that's a big yes, Jairo. So I can tell you. So, uh, so yes, uh, please uh, stick with the community. You are already on the channel. So uh keep keep everybody sp posted and and yeah good luck for thank everything you. thank and you very much awesome. everyone <laughs> very cool